Hi everyone and welcome to Wild Ginger Running, the trail and ultra running YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Adidas Terex Agravic Pro Boa trail running shoes with their new easy to use L6 dial lacing system. Have you got a pair of these or are you thinking of buying a pair? Let me know in the comments below. I know what you're thinking. Oh, with the intro, yes, this film is sponsored by Boa, but hopefully you'll be able to tell from this review that they have let me have a free reign over this film. I wouldn't be able to put it out unless they let me speak my mind. I wouldn't do that to you people. So as you can see, the unique design of the Adidas Terek Agravic Pro Boa trail running shoes involves this easy to use L6 dial a lacing system, which I will talk more about in just a minute. But first, let's just have a quick look at the specs of this cool looking shoe. <laughs> So the price is £170, the weight is 616 grams for this UK size 6.5. The drop from heel to toe is 4 millimetres and the UK men's sizes go from 5 to 13 and the UK women's from 3 to 9 and it's available in both black and lime for both. So they're designed for technical trail running for mid to long distances including ultra running with a sock construction that prevents debris entering the shoe. A protective carbon plate in the midsole made from 90% renewable carbon and a continental rubber outsole with aggressive five millimeter lugs for extreme grip on muddy and rocky ground. So why the Boa L6 dial and what are its benefits? Well, apart from the obvious benefit of the shoe being super quick to lace up and unlace with no pesky laces to snag on foliage, the Boa L6 dial forms part of Adidas's Perform Fit wrap, including the TX4 laces, which they say is scientifically proven to increase running efficiency and and reduce landing impact on technical trails and steep defense, descents thanks to a better connection between the foot and the outsole. So what do I think about the new Adidas Terex Agravic Pro Boas and which runners would I recommend them to? Well, I've been running in the Pro Boas for over a month now and I have to admit the speed and ease of the boa lacing system is pretty awesome. You simply slide your foot into the shoe, rotate the dial and off you go. It's super quick, very easy, ultra comfy and there are no long loops to fiddle about with tucking in or triple knotting or to catch on brambles or build up with snow. Again, once you've finished your run, popping out the dial releases the tension on the shoe even more quickly and easily than conventional laces, which is especially good if you're completely knackered from a speed session, from a long run or a race or if you're doing a multi-activity race and want to change your shoes super quick and if you're struggling with sweaty shaking or cold hands too so yes to me the boa lacing system is really like the shoe equivalent of having a top of the range all singing all dancing garmin gps watch or the latest iphone with a million megapixel camera or a supercar that goes from 0 to 100 miles an hour in a few seconds is that good it's not vital traditional laces do work but boy is it nice to treat yourself i say if you've got the cash to splash then splash it. And there's more. Having the boa laces down the side also makes the area over the midfoot very comfortable and there's no chance to pull the laces too tight and cut off the circulation over your foot. And yes, like added, I say it does feel like it creates that good connection between your foot and the outsole. So you do feel nice and stable on uneven terrain in these. If you do happen to take a tumble and subject the boa lacing to a hefty thump, it will release the dial from the housing and then you can pop it back in after you've dusted yourself off and it will work fine to get you home, but Adidas do then recommend ordering a replacement part. The fit of the pro boas will suit a lot of runners, especially those with a higher volume foot. This is the amount of vertical space your foot takes up as the ankle cuff is a little bit on the high side. The toe box is fairly wide it's not as wide as like a topo or an ultra but i don't find it as narrow as hoka or salmon shoes the sizing is good also i don't think you'll need to go up or down from your usual trail running shoe size underfoot i found the pro boa cushioned enough to be comfy on any terrain from roads to trails however uneven or rocky they were and the continental rubber sole with the five millimeter grip lugs is really grippy on rocks mud wet grass basically it can cope with any type of ground the ride is nice and bouncy and it sort of seems to propel you along and you can do a speed session or a run a long way in comfort on any terrain in these. 
If you're used to a four millimeter drop from heel to toe, then this is also a good feature because you feel closer to the ground so your feet can respond quickly to all the lumps and bumps in the trails. However, if you are used to running in more like a 10 millimeter drop shoe, do be aware of gradually transitioning to a lower drop to avoid straining or injuring your Achilles tendon and your calf muscles. The weight. Hmm, 616 grams for a UK size 6.5. That is 100 to 120 grams heavier than a lot of the other trail running shoes I've tested lately. It's an extra 50 to 60 grams on each foot. But honestly, I can't tell. The pro bowers do feel light and responsive to run in. So if they fit your feet well, then I would not worry about that extra weight. The other thing about a slightly heavier shoe is that this can often mean that it's gonna be more robust and last longer. And there is a really tough and extensive abrasion resistant rand at the toe and the heel. So the shoe certainly feels bomb proof. Well, for 170 pounds, you would certainly hope so. Finally, one great thing I do wanna point out about the Boa Pros is that the yarn in the upper is made from at least 50% Harley Ocean Plastic and 50% Recycled Polyester. The stitching is only a small part of the shoe, but it's a great start because so many shoe companies now are looking for more environmentally friendly options, which can never be a bad thing, eh? So in summary, if you are a mid to long distance runner looking for a pair of robust, long lasting shoes that are beyond easy to lace up and unlace and top of the range when it comes to performance, definitely give these a try. If they're a good fit for your foot shape and you enjoy a lower drop shoe, the Adidas Terex Agravit Pro Boa trail running shoes might become your favorite pair. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this review helpful and let me know in the comments below if you fancy treating yourself to a pair. There's a link in the description below. Go on, you know you want to. Yep, I'm still here. Thanks for watching. Check out more of my reviews here and in the thumbnails that will pop up at the end of this film. And if you fancy finding out all there is to know about trail running, including training plans from 5K to 50K, then consider my book, The Ultimate Trail Running Handbook, here. If you found this film helpful and you want to be entered into my monthly competition to win £400 worth of trail running kit, then do support me on Patreon. It's like buying me a pint to say thanks. Thanks. See you on the trails.